wonder if Paul knows that we're streaming today. Hey, we got to do a, a a wheel of Curtis today for last week. Now we got all these extra games. Yes, sirree, this is gonna be fun. I'm kind of been thinking about our friends Sam and Max lately. Ready for what's next? Of course, I need to remember what was. there are 12 scum games and we haven't played through all of them yet you haven't mm. played maniac mansion you haven't played zach mccracken and the alien mindbenders you haven't played indiana jones in the last crusade what's the played... one that uh ron gilbert did like uh maniac was that mansion. maniac that's the one that he did later right when he was kind of no that's uh, the first scum game that's where the double M comes from in the acronym. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, what's the one that he did later in his career, like after he left LucasArts? Well, he he started up. He started a company called Humongous Entertainment and started making the putt putt games. We have seven and seconds. You have to tell me the one name, the name of the game I want to hear. Putt putt goes to the circus. No, that's, not, that's not it. We'll talk about it in a minute. All right. <clears throat> Oh, there we are. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Conversations with Curtis. How's it going? Happy Monday. Happy first Monday. I was going to say first Monday of the new year, but really it's the second Monday. The first Monday was on January 1st, and I, that didn't feel like a Monday to me. That just felt like New Year's Day. But today is like our first. We're, we're into the new year. We're doing it. We're playing a game, and it's just a regular Monday. And we're going back to Sam and Max, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Good to see you guys. I'm going to do my romper room moment. Who do I see here? I see Nelson Miguel. Hello, girlfriend. And girlfriend, thank you. We saw your donation over the weekend and uh, your New Year's gift. And just want to thank you again for your your support. It's so great having you on our on our little family here. It's been it's great. It's just you've been a great edition so thanks for being here zen solipsist hello how's it going been a while uh guys good to see you and alenis all right said hi to nelson ozzy hello ozzy and then uh other folks dragoon do what do haven't seen you in a while good to see you and uh retro gaming nook that sounds like a is that a new we've had some retro gaming names but retro gaming nook sounds new to me so if you are new thanks for joining um yeah, we're going to play some uh, Sam and Max at the Road in a bit. Um, and Daniel and I have, we're going to play on Wednesday too. Tori can't join. We were, Tori and I were going to play some more Thomas Was Alone. So why don't you all start thinking about something that we can play on Wednesday? We have a couple of ideas that we'll throw your way and we'll let you vote and decide what, what we're going to do. Um yeah, I got nothing. So I'm just going to say thank you to our Patreon members. Uh, had a new addition. Alexander, I think we probably, he, we've we've been celebrating him quite a bit with his yellowness. But I think now we need to make him a part of the, the regular group. So next time, Alexander will be absorbed into the white. Uh, but thanks to everybody here who makes conversations with Curtis happen with our monthly donations. Appreciate it very much. And certainly hope you can join them if you aren't doing that. And if you are, if your pockets are deep and you are able to help out, that would be great. Um, but we sure do appreciate that after, gosh, three years of all this stuff now, almost three years. Um, so thank you. 
And if you can't help us on a monthly basis, perhaps you can help us on a one-time basis by joining us, uh, by giving a donation and helping us get to our goal, our huge goal today of $100. And if we achieve that goal like we did last week, we will give away some games that we're going to do today. Uh, we'll do a little Wheel of Curtis today. Um, top seven donors over the last 30 days of 2023 were fairly consistent. We had Jouex at number one, CJ at number two, Ozzy at number three, Girlfan at four, YT Wanderer at five, Gunther Schmidl at number six, and Victor Chang at number seven. You guys have been incredibly generous and kind, and we can't thank you enough. So if y'all can help chip in a little bit today, that would be great. Um, but let's play some games. But before we do that, let's bring out let's bring out the tech talk master himself, Mr. Daniel Lobo. Hi. Hey, there he is. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Doing well. Good. So it's funny when I see myself. So how, how, myself is it that, I seem how is it there to be in the second Sunday of the new year, given that? Wait, it's the first. No, it's the first Monday. Was last Monday a work day? Gather you, your thoughts, Daniel. Gather your thoughts. What are you? What are you trying to get to here? What? What? You mentioned that it's the first Monday of the year, and I'm trying to figure out why I forgot <laughs> that last Monday was also in 2024 so my question is was last monday a work day it was new year's day i think i did work no it wasn't a work day for anybody who has real jobs and and isn't you know scrambling to do all their own stuff um but it, i think it was a work day for me i had some i had a bunch of stuff i needed to get done that day but we had a great new year's eve and all that anyways good to see you how's tech talk going uh, congratulations on your channel. It's starting to starting to grow some numbers, which is really cool. You're gonna going to be well. Huge. Yesterday, yesterday I uh, had the premiere of my conversation with uh, LucasArts composer Michael Land, who composed the Monkey Island theme, and he composed it in 15 minutes. And he also composed the Lachak theme, and he composed it while he was at the urinal. So all in all, okay. So stars. he 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 uh, during so for the time it took him to, I don't know, uh, fifteen minutes, and the time it takes to pee, he's composed two two scores for classic games. How long did he talk to you about both of those? Three hours. Interesting. You can create something that takes a couple of minutes, and then you can spend the rest of your life talking about. It. I can't think of anybody who's been capitalizing on something they did a long time ago for a couple of months and just actors actors get residuals all the time. This isn't residuals. This is me having a channel based on a thing I did a bazillion years ago. I'm and not that's... talking about this channel. I'm talking about actors who get residuals. Are you still getting paid got... for Buffy? Yeah, I got like a. 27 cent check recently for that somebody posted that on our discord channel mm -hmm. my the entirety of my scene and i i wrote back I, i'm still sort of flustered that i didn't get nominated for something because i it was it was good stuff man that was you could just see how the intensity on my face for the 0. 0.47 seconds you see my face is just not everybody can do that you know i downloaded that that episode in hd because I think last year or two years ago, whenever we uh, played Gabriel Knight, I think we played a few of your clips. We played from, um, yeah, from several. I think from Mel Melrose Place, right? When you got yeah, Melrose Place, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I had that episode, and I looked through the entire episode. I didn't watch it all the way through. I just skipped through it to see where you were, and I couldn't find you. So now that I saw this clip, I know where to find you. So now I'll be able to have it in HD for us to showcase in one of our live streams. It's like it's like two seconds. There's nothing to it. Okay, it's it's very funny. But sure, in Whatever. slow mo, in slow mo, it. it's five seconds. There you go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it in super slow mo. Um, so anyway, so last week, last week I interviewed. I recorded an interview with Clint Bajakian, who's another composer who worked with my Michael Land. And our conversation was five and a half hours long. 
it went on so long that at some point I just started skipping questions. I had a bunch of questions because I usually you had have... more questions and and uh, than than the five and a half hours. I, I don't. So, man. so usually I have uh, I have a list of questions that suppose that's supposed to amount to a three hour something, but if the person I'm interviewing goes off on tons of tangents, then there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to stop him. I never interrupt my guests. I usually, when I interrupt them, is to take them backwards in time, not to fast forward in time. So if he goes off on a tangent, I'm there to listen. So we start getting to the four-hour mark, and we weren't even halfway through. <laughs> so, no. You know, you know, we're you know you're a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll, or or there's whatever it is. We could not be more different in terms of how we want to conduct a interviewer conversation. I, I, but we've had these discussions before. I'm not a. I I don't know the idea that some people can go on tangents, but if you want sometimes you need to keep people on track and i think that that's part of the job of an interviewer or someone you know running a conversation trying to keep things keep things to a certain place i'm going to interview aaron hansen on uh tomorrow uh he agreed to doing that. And, and, you know, I got nothing. I'm going to just, I've looked at some stuff. Uh, some of the folks on discord sent me a few things that have been helpful, but I'm going to just have a talk with him. We're just going to chat and we're going to be done in an hour and a half. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's the and thing. I wouldn't want any more than maybe two at the most, but that's the thing you're interviewing uh, Aaron, just like you'll talk to someone you were with, you were in high school with, or someone you just met. But these are the people that have been my idols for years. And so I'm there to listen. So, you, yeah, you want you're you're I, coming at it from a fan's perspective of really, I'm just lucky to be sitting down with you. And anything you want to share with me is a golden opportunity for me to listen, as opposed to you have a very specific agenda that you want to get to and you're going to keep that person on track. You just want to hear them talk. I mean, there's not one person in my personal circle or even circle of friends that I'll talk to for five hours. But I'll talk to these people for five hours. That's the difference. Do you get them to uh, do you get the composers to play the whole composition for you during your your interview? No, I usually play it for them. OK, no, I'm saying that you should get them to do it live. They should get them in their studio and they should be playing their instrument and talking to you at the same time. Um, all right. So here's the thing. I was just thinking of this, Daniel. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Tori's not around. Mm -hmm. And you and I talked a little bit about, well, what do you want to do? And here's the thing. I'm going to be out of town on Friday. And then I'm not around much at all the next couple of weeks. So I won't be around to do much streaming. So it doesn't make sense to begin a new game when we're gonna have a big big you know uh gap in between we could continue sam and max and just try to get through it and see if we can get closer to the end that might be the answer i had suggested we get back to the dig because i know that's one of your favorite games and we never finished that and i feel i feel i've let everybody down so i i thought that would be a good one but you just said that it's been so long i'm not going to remember anything mm -hmm. so my question to the chat is between those two games, and maybe you have a different suggestion. Maybe we do some more Scrabble or pinball yeah, or whatever. Let's play Scrabble. But of those two games, would you rather see me go back to the dig and just have no a vague memory of, of what was happening and having to catch up and, and all that? Or would you want to see us continue to power through Sam and Max and just keep a consistent game going for a while? Those That's your question. And that's... Uh, We'd be curious to hear your answers. So um, until then, <laughs> I'm already getting some responses. Uh, God, no, please do the dig. God, no to what? A speed run? What? No. We got so no to scramble. Is, 
Oh, we got us another Sam Max. Oh, it's going back. Why not both? Do a chat poll. Can we do a chat poll? Do you know how to do that? Well, we can do that with the chat bot, but you know, if you want the dig, press one. If you want seven max, <laughs> press two. If you want something else, or you we'll can figure say out eventually. Dig or Mac. I guess one and two is going to be easier. God, no yeah. on the Scrabble. Um, okay. That said, let's play some Sam and Max, and you have to tell me. It's been a little while. So remember, we got to the Phantasmagoria oh, 2 the, final the puzzle. Curtis Craig Phantasmagoria puzzle here, right? Yeah. This, this is totally reminiscent. So I need to... Okay. Coming at this without any... Wait, now, now not... they're choosing one or two, but I forgot what one or two means. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I think one is the dig. And then... <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. One and dig. Sam and Max or the N dig. Nelson said, God, no, on the Scrabble. Scrabble yeah, was fun. That. Fun was is fun. another word that I'd use in Scrabble. A Silent Hill 2. I've been hearing about the Silent Hill thing. Someone wants me to play that with uh, Voidburger. Um, yeah, so many things. So much going on. Um, Okay. All right. Anyways, I'm I, so can you give me a general sense of what I'm trying to do here without giving me any hints? I mean, without, you know, without yes. telling me. Yes. We are currently, after we took the book from the library and we learned how to program a maintenance bot, then we're currently looking at the maintenance bot and we want to reprogram it to do something so that someone will be too busy handling the maintenance robot and will be able to do something else. Gotcha. That's, okay, I kind of remember. The we're, in this, we're in this person's, yeah, we're in a new environment now. But so what, in terms of this puzzle, I see red up here, red there, and then there's this, all this green, there's green, there's orange. So I'm just not exactly sure yet. Am I just, supposed to know what any of this means yet, or do I need to just start playing around and kind of getting a sense of something? Well, this looks like a diagram of something, right? This. Yeah. Looks very similar to the place we're currently in. Correct. And so you see that there are rooms in which it's marked in red, Yeah. which yeah. probably means that the maintenance bot will not access them. So we need to get, we need to program this so that they will, the maintenance bot will access them. Yeah, maybe. Right. Okay, but I need to move things around, like move that and bring it over yeah, here. Nah, it's pretty straightforward. Unlike Phantasmagoria 2, you don't, you can't plug the wires in different sockets. There's only you one don't. socket per wire. Okay. Is it the is it which one goes in first? Oh, so I see. Now mm -hmm. I do that. Oh, interesting. Okay, now I'm starting. So everything's red. So if I just do this, the oh, that means that the bot can't go into any of these because it's unplugged. But if yeah. I do this. And he'll be and in the lobby. Oh, but this thing's open, so I can do this right now. Oh, now I did it. Now I can go into those two rooms, right? Yep. The maintenance bot and will do go I, in, into do these I want rooms. This? Now I can go in all the rooms except for this one. It's not you that's going into these rooms. It's the maintenance bot. Okay, but now I've just made everything green, so I'm yeah. good, right? Yeah, you're good Look to go. Look at me. Way to go. Pat on the back. Sam and Max in it. Now what? Get out of here. How do I get out of here? Yeah, you that, plugged that's... everything. That wasn't the real I don't think fun. the cute little robot wants to follow its new programming, Sam. I don't recall giving it a cute little choice. There okay. he goes. I'm ripe with anticipation. I thought Sam. I smelled something. What the? Okay. So this guy is leaving that room, so maybe that room is currently available for know. us. 
to access. Let's go. Hey, uh, Big Kahuna is in the chat. Let's go. A chimp could have figured that out. Oh, really? Have you watched me play games before, Big Kahuna? Any no. any puzzle solved is, is worth a pat on the back. Okay, what do I need to see here? I need to see... He's not here. I'm going to go... What is that thing? It's a virtual reality helmet. I guess I'm going to try to use it or grab I it. I can't pick it. that up. But maybe I can use it. There we go. And then I'm going to turn this on. Oh. What am I doing here? This is virtual reality. I may be sick. Hey, it's the sword in the stone. Yeah, Big Kahuna, yeah, you're behind on our videos, and, and you have like 300 of them to This is a completely unusable on, so. thingamabob. Oh, yeah. He probably thinks I'm good at these things. <laughs> That's good. That was funny. Now what do I do? Okay, so I got the sword. Might as well go in here, right? Oh wow, I gotta fight this for fight. Well, that didn't go well. Wow, well, I, I never knew I you could fail this princess. part. What are you two doing here? Leaving. Wait, was there... Did I actually screw up? Yeah. I didn't even know you could screw up. What, what, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to be just hitting him with the sword fight, the whole time? Yeah, fight the dragon. Well, okay. I have Jeez. to go back and do this whole thing again? Yeah. All right, come on. Ah! Anything to do out here while I'm here? Nah. Nah. Wait, where's the... Wait, which way am I going? To the... This way? I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. Well, since they probably reprogrammed the maintenance bot, you should reprogram it. Do, do the I just same go to thing. the bot itself? I just go to the bot and yeah, and use use the bot. I'm trying to use you, dude. I can't. Come on. Trying to use it. Will it let me use it? All right, I'm confused. Where'd the bot go? It's behind you. If not, then he went into the other room. Then go to the other this, room. This, this one? No. It can't, it can't go in here, right? So it has to go yeah. this way. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Come on. There you are. Okay, so I'm going to... Pikahuna, you probably look sillier. Hey, oh, don't go. updated. You know, Big Kahuna worked on Gabriel Knight too. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Follow what, me, what, you what Spielbergian you robot. What, Let's what try this do? again. He was a programmer. Nice. So was I. You can tell. And they finally updated your, your credit, Big Kahuna. <laughs> was absent from uh, Moby Games. Now it's there. Well done. Boom, look at that. I'm just solving these puzzles right and left. Just unplug some stuff, plug some stuff back little in. Robot. It's like you're a that hacker. Good. I, yes, I am. I'm like a hacker. Yeah. Me too. What the? The, the amount of... He's not getting the any skills smarter, that I have amassed in these last two plus years is, is really staggering indeed I mean, indeed it is it's kind of like uh what's it called when someone's like an instant master at something like i'm a i'm a 
I can't remember. Hey, what who, what do people want us to do on, on Wednesday? One or they, two? They don't and, want and us to do anything. I think we should <laughs> get the hint. No, actually, we got one and two. I still don't see what all the fuss we is We got about. one, 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 two. And then okay, one, wait, wait, one, wait, wait, wait. I got I to gotta defeat a dragon here. I just got to click on him a whole bunch of times. That part was funny. That made me laugh. Okay. Fight okay, it. So fight it. Well, I didn't know what, when. I didn't know if we were going to do like one of those, like, we'll wait a second. We'll do the. Okay, here we go. I didn't know I had to fight him right away. So fight. Oh. Okay, do I do says four. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. All right. Now I'm going in here. I get the heart. Do I get to keep the heart? Why am I going in there backwards? Can I pick up the heart? I guess I can... <laughs> that was great. Wow. That I was great. I really like that. Does that come with a dental plan? I don't know what you two critters are up to, but I want you out of here. Now! That was funny. We got the key. Now I can't remember where it's supposed to go. Is it supposed to go in there? I'm going to just, I guess I'm going to go in this room because there might have been something we were in here before. And there's really nothing to. You can tell me to move on, Daniel, if there's nothing to do here. Or is it oh, up in the... It's one of Conroy's toupees. Let's look at... Pick it up? Try to pick it up. Uh-oh. I should have known. Hey! That hurts! <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> hey, threw us pretty far this time. So I'm now you know out. that you can pick it up. Okay, so way. we can pick it up. Yeah, let's go back on in there. I Come think on. we have to avoid tripping the alarm, Sam. Yeah, thanks, Max. Yeah, Max is helping you. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> I can still go in there. Was there, can I, if I go up to the car, is there a chance to use a key in there or do I need to go somewhere else for the key? You need to find you know, out what this key opens. You know, you know, we don't, have we found it before? Have we found a lock already and now we're looking for the, now we have the key or do we, have a key for something we don't know where the lock is. Well, look at your inventory. See what other things you can interact with. What a key can interact with. There's a key right there on the thing. Key can interact with the snow globe, a bomb. And you if you don't have anything there. to interact with in your inventory, maybe given the fact that it's a key in, that you got in Bumpusville, it can open something in one of the other rooms. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And I was going to say that... Um, I was going to say... I was going to look up here and just see what... I can't remember what's up here. Got to I, like I love that it's not even stairs. It's an escalator. That's great. And there's nothing to see. Is there anything to see? No. Why let's am I up here? Let's replay X Files on Wednesday. Oh my God! Not without Tori. Uh, there's and wasn't did we do something in here earlier that kind of? Yeah, we picked up the book from which we learned the secrets of Monkey Island. programming and yeah, the secrets of Monkey. Island. That's exactly <clears throat> right. Okay, so let's go to that room. Now we need to figure out. Oh, wow, we've got 14 viewers on Twitch. What? You know what? You know what I did? Instead of using the seven max category, I used the retro one. Really? Yeah. Aha, we fooled him. We fooled him. Haha. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. No, I, I only see 14 on on the uh, uh oh, screwed that up. Hold on. That's not what I meant to do. All right, doing too many things at once. So I guess I'm going to go in here. Okay. That makes sense. 
Oh, do that. Get rid of that. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to do that. Okay. If only, if only there was a keyhole somewhere. 100 messages. You guys are a chatty bunch today. All right. Uh, if there's a keyhole, let's see. There. What's this right here? Oh, oh, oh. I need to turn something off. I can't mm. go through here because I'm okay. So I got to get out of here. If only there's a keyhole. Um, what do you mean? Looks like a keyhole to me. <laughs> Doesn't look like a keyhole to me. It looks like a an outlet or something. All right, so let's let's get our key. This is very exciting. Oh, I guess I have to put it in the box. You know what? Weird. We should play putt putt on Wednesday. No, but what's the one that he did? Um, what's the one that he did? Like in the 2000s, like the, way, the, 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 the one Bowie that was Park. Like, that's the one. That's the one that seems. I'd, I'd, I'd be interested in that one. It's pretty long. And I'd be totally interested in Putt Putt. Putt Putt would be a blast. I would love to play that. Okay. Except, I don't know, we're Gee, playing a lot of thanks. very youthful, kitty kind of cartoony games. I'm not well, sure. Well, back to the circus with you. I'm feeling a little morally conflicted about taking Bruno back to the circus. I'm not. Let's go, you big lug. Stay away from him, you malefactor. I'm not a malefactor. I'm a lagomorph. Look, I'm not going back to the circus, and I'm late for a party. Oh, yeah, the Bigfoot party. Where is it? It's at Evelyn Morrison Savage Jungle in, in picturesque Half-Life, Nevada. Bigfoots. And their dates. Only. Hey, will you transform my, my image, Daniel? Yeah. Let's go. And morph. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. All right. So they left. That's good. Um, Give me I a pick up the, I pick up the key or leave it there? Leave it there. All right. So now we need to go. How do I okay. get to the map? Girl fan wants us to play putt putt. Albert also wants us to play putt putt. Change your vote. <laughs> Uh, do I just need to get out of here now, get in our car? Have we done all we need to do? Mm-hmm. Nice. Should we get him to kick us out again? Did we get a new location on our map? I think so. Okay, so let's go visit that location. All right, let's do it. Where's the car? Anyway, the problem with Putt Putt being a kid's game is the fact that if you get stuck on one of the puzzles in the game, Paul, Doesn't look so good. Yes. What now? If I get stuck on a puzzle, it's not going to look so good. Yeah. In putt putt. Well, we, because it's a kids game. Yeah. And if I get stuck, then we're then when we really realize what a numbskull I am. Okay. So I forgot what are the new ones. This looks new. Is that new? Yep. Let's go there. Let's go there. Welcome, Padaya. This place is tiki rific. Tiki rific. Yeah, I feel gifted. immersed in native culture. I just hope this place has authentic savage tiki drinks with that authentic tiki tang. Me too. All right, where do we go? Let's check out stuff. Nothing to look at. Nothing to look at. Let's. We can also play other humongous entertainment games. Like Fred the Fish, or Pajama Sam, or Fatty Bear. Where the heck am I going here? Well, there's the door. Is that the door? Let's go. It looks like a door. Can I go in that? There we go. What's going on? Did he just... What was that? Did he just fart? No. You see, him, he, you see him pick up his foot and then like a something. Yeah, but that that, that. animation. Yeah. That oh, animation the animation is his foot hurts. Okay, so yeah. let's see what's going on. With his that foot depicts that hurts. pain. That's a particularly big big foot. Okay, let's talk to him. What's going on? What's up in there? Big time big foot party. So okay. you want to. You want to play? You want to play Fatty Bear's surprise party? 
Are, are we still talking about games that we're going to play on Wednesday? Yeah. I've never heard of it. What's up in there? Big time Bigfoot party. So I can't talk to him anymore. How come, how come the talking thing isn't staying up? I have to do this every time. Sounds like some kind of shindig. It's the event of the century. Why does it have to keep going away? What? So the talking options, like I do the, I click on the topping options right yeah. now. These things come up and as soon mm -hmm. as he finishes, usually they stay up until I get through all of them. But this time it, it disappears as soon as I do a, like yeah, I'll, I'll he, do he, this. He doesn't want to talk to you. He has foot pains. I was hoping that I could ask him about his foot pains. How's the band? Pretty happy as far as I can tell. Okay, so, but there's nothing I can do. Maybe I can grab it or use it. Do I want to use his foot? Nah, it's not going to work, really. Stop. What's up? Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. Okay, so we need to be act like we're a Sasquatch. Something's wrong with his foot. Okay, so, all right. Let's, let's see what else we got to do. Talk to her. Hey, aren't you Evelyn Morrison, famed B-movie star? Yes, I am she. I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. Is that the one where the alien says, Clam do Beretta Nimno? No, that's Vampirus in Prison. Oh, yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. Five hour interviews. Would people want um, retro? Uh, now I'm looking at the chat. Ozzy asked, "Would what if we did a sampling of different games? Would people be uh, interested in that?" Uh, and Wright said, "Brett." possibly correctly said I might be a little too young even for me the putt putt games but maybe we play a little bit of it you know the first adventure game my daughter played when she was six years old was putt putt goes to the moon you want to give that one a try <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I don't know if I want to do two hours of playing uh, a, no, a it won't take game. you two maybe it will first of all if it will take you two hours then we have a much bigger problem, but <laughs> <laughs> if it will take less than two hours, then we can always play another game from the Putt Putt series or another game from him. Well, this has gone off the rails. There's way, all of a sudden there's just way too many. I was just thinking the dig or this, or I don't know. I'm up for whatever. But what, let's just think of Wednesday as kind of a one-off because again, I'll be gone for a few couple weeks and. We won't really be able to get into a brand new game, start, you know, start from something from scratch until, you know, end of January, <laughs> maybe February. All right, enough of that. Let's let's talk about Bigfoot. Have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Evelyn Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. I'll take that nice. as a no then. You haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy-as-a-bed-bug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpus, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises hours ago. Why? He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. Okay. I have the sudden craving for an umbrella drink. Evelyn Morrison's Jungle Inn has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. All nice. in just one drink? Which way to the bar? Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. Oh, yeah. The toucan must have put words into my mouth. But um bump. Action! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Corman. Mr. Corman. Okay, so got nothing from her. What about this dude? I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, why not take some of these brochures? They have Evelyn Morrison's myself autograph person, you know. on them, making them must-have collectibles. Thanks. 
Right. Maybe you have something in your inventory for the Bigfoot with the foot pain over there. Ah, I can blow him up with a bomb. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You got it. Uh, I must have some sort of ointment. Um, I'm not going to give him money. I'm not going to... I can tickle his foot with that. Uh, what's that? Is this some sort it's of, a bucket of, of... It's a bucket of golf balls. Okay, that's good. That's it's a, a pillow, pillow with it? hair tonic all over it. A pillow with hair tonic all over it. Um, I don't see what will make his... I guess I can use this to... I'll try it's this. It's a broken golf ball retriever with a severed hand attached to it. Can I use it to pull his thorn out or something? It's the official bootleg Sam and Max paint by number book. That's the only thing that makes sense. I'm going to try that. Okay. Well, now tell me not. I mean, that's okay if I'm wrong. Just, just let's, tell me. Let's assume that his foot is itchy. It's itchy, not in pain. He doesn't have like a. Uh, he doesn't have. A, he has an itchy. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking until itchy. Well, a scratch like this little thing. That's probably a scratchy something or other. Let's well, do sure, that. you can give that a try. No oh, boy. What then? Okay. So uh, I'm okay. telling you, I'm you should give, give, you should give that a try. Sam and Max paint by number book. I thought you just told me it was sarcastically just give that a try and that it's not going to work. And then I, I just wanted to see if you were invested in the. Uh, and this puzzle Here. solution. He's crying. Nice. Ooh. Ah. Ah. This is great. Really great. I owe you guys. Can we go in? Stop. Only ah, Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. All right. Well, he's got his thing now. Uh, I should talk to the two Ken, don't you think? Wait, do you have something new in your inventory? I remember seeing this movie in theaters when I was a pup. During the climactic scene, they dropped giant rubber snakes on the audience. Why don't they make movies like that anymore? Higher standards? Probably. I wonder if this bird talks. Maybe it'll give us an important clue. Nah, that'd be stupid. <laughs> well, then let's see. I'm all for stupid. Don't be silly. Oh, it won't let me do it. Okay. Don't be silly. Fair enough. Okay, so I have something else in my inventory that... Will you finish that sentence, Daniel? Yeah. Did you get something from Evelyn? Did I get something from her? No. Yeah. Let's go get something from Evelyn. Like, what's the thing next to the snow globe? This thing? Yeah, what's that? Hmm. I hate it when you hum, Sam. It sounds like a high voltage tower. These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit and Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota. And some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum in Goat Liver, Texas. Boom, two new locations. I think I like the humming better. Okay. So she gave you this brochure. So now right. that you actually looked at it, we got two new locations. Okay, sounds good. Do I need to go to those locations right now? Or do I want to see if there's anything yeah, else to go do? go to there? those locations right now. So is that a standard in these games? Like as soon as you get access to some place, don't stick around where you are. You go to that place. But you have nothing to do over here. You used up all of your dialogue options on Evelyn. The Bigfoot doesn't let you enter unless you actually look like a Bigfoot. So. Gotcha. Let's split. Let's split this. Let's 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 rock let's this split. joint. Yeah, let's rock this joint. Okay, so we got uh, this th guy is new. Let's check out this guy. Oh, wow. Someone's swinging, mountain climbing, bungee jumping off of the nose of Mount Rushmore. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see what we need to see here. 
Have I been chained to the ceiling since Therese? Asked Justin Pizio. No, no. I've been... I've been... free for... for months now. Yeah, and so since Jocelyn broke both of her hands. Exactly. Look, a 70 million year old statue with no graffiti. I thought it was a 70 million. Something. Where's the crayons? No way. Why not? You're artistically inept. Can I just paint his toenails red? Maybe later. A 70 million year old statue. So the statue is 70 million years old. I didn't realize they were making statues back uh, back in those days. Um, all right, what do you got here? No, I can't see that. I can see that though. Walking. I've seen hair like this somewhere before. Your butt? No, this no. hair has the same coarseness as Sasquatch hair. You don't suppose uh -huh. they skin Sasquatches to make this cheesy roadside attraction? Who Ooh. knows? More importantly, who cares? So, he made the very interesting observation. Push button to Sasquatch hear Wally hair. speak. Yeah? What, what did, uh... The observation is that his hair I can't pick that up. is very similar to the one yeah. that's Sasquatch has. Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the Ice Age, I was king of the mammals. Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the Ice Age, I was king of the mammals. Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. I may hey, be Alan, extinct. How do we be done now? All right, good. That was good. Okay, so can we go this way? I don't think I can go any farther. Okay, so we need to go back, go up the stairs. Let's go up the stairs. Oh, is there something to see here? Wait, maybe maybe we should get some fur from the woolly man. Oh, okay. Good idea. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. As you can see, my tiny forearms are quite useless. But I more than make up for it with my powerful tail, my muscular legs, and my savage razor-sharp teeth. Some oh people gosh. make fun of me. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so let's go get... Hi! Ah. Uh. I want to go just grab it? Do I grab it with like the tweezers or something? Do I have to use something to grab his fur? Or maybe someone's teeth. Someone's teeth. Okay, so I'm going to use this thing. I don't know why. It feels like it's a thing that you can grab stuff with. And then I'm going to do that. I can't use these things together. No oh, fudge. Okay. Um. Ha. Uh, can I use this? I can't grab it. This is it? a completely unusable thingamabob. Okay. Maybe so you can use someone's teeth. Oh, someone's teeth to get the to get the fur. Do we have Really? Which objects in your inventory have I teeth know, but, and a life but, of their own to remove said fur? Wait, this is talking, right? This is the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never look, mind. Not look here. at your inventory. You have one object over there that has teeth, and it's smiling at you, and you can use oh, I it. Use my... Okay. I can use this dude. I can use my buddy. Yep. I can't get rid of this thing now. No, right click, change it to the use icon. Okay, I'm gonna pick up Max. Big Kahuna is roasting me and says, Daniel, you need a bigger cup, said no one ever. Big Kahuna. What's that? Hey, Max. Hey, what? I've got a job for those mighty bigger incisors. Cup. What's that all about? What? Because See today I brought mammoth? my biggest oh. cup. Stop playing dumb and get chomping. My Darth Vader cup. Oh, did we pick it up? Okay, now we gotta get... Do we need to get a tooth out of here? Yeah, actually, you're absolutely right. We need to get a tooth from Dino over here. Hold on here. All right. 
Oh, my gosh. Fine work, Max. <laughs> now we've got more faux woolly mammoth hair than we'll ever need, and we've learned an important lesson. Yeah, the woolly What's mammoths that? died of embarrassment. All right, now let's see. All right, do I probably put that back back in there? Now I'm going to use Max again. It's my little buddy, ready for action. And grab him again. And I'm going to, I think I could have just, I'm going to go over here. I can't use these things together. Really? Can I use my... Okay, how about this then? Do, 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 do. I'm gonna keep trying this guy. I can't use these things together. Yeah. Okay, so you're telling me I need to get a tooth out of here, right? Yeah, but you want me to tell you if you have what you need in your inventory? To get the tooth? Yeah. Because you don't. Uh, okay, so I gotta come back and get the tooth. Or I can do it myself and just climb up the, the guy. Chwex tipped $25. Don't Aww. give him too many hints about the teeth, Daniel. After all, it's unfair to play with incisor information. <laughs> well played, Chwex. No, well done. That was, that was a good one. Has that been germinating for a little while? I like it. Uh, thank you, Chwex. You're so kind. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, don't tell me. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Okay. So I, unless you can tell me this though, which doesn't give me any hints. Do I, can I do, can I get it now or do I have to go somewhere and come back and get it? You or can, is that too? You can keep, exp you can continue exploring this location and then you have another location and then we'll uh, That's what I was try to solve okay. this puzzle. Okay, so this is a comeback and solve it puzzle. All right, so there was that dude. There was that. Let's go this way. Bungee boogers. This place evokes a sense of wonder. You have to Tar pit slide. All right, we got stuff to look at here. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's a natural woodland creature enjoying the advancements of humankind. And his friend with the snout seems to be submerged in the fun as well. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I saw so much tar. Me neither, but my long-term memory is virtually non-existent. Me too. Well, I got a good long-term memory. It's the... Does he come through and I can grab him? Okay, so... These dudes kids want to go in this line's not moving very quickly the same thing could be said about the plot that's not funny max <laughs> it's I a like line it. of cheery children huh wait what, did, what do you up. consider as shorter memory like six months back a year back two years back three years back yeah it's yeah a line of cheery children um I mean, I want to know, for example, we stopped playing The Dig like a year ago. Yeah. If we wait another year and continue playing next year, will you remember what we did two years ago at that point? Well, I, I don't know how it all works. I, I will... If we start The Dig, it'll be very, very familiar, and I, it won't feel that far away. But when it comes to like the details of who everybody is... Um, and what did we do already and what do we need to do again? I would certainly need to be filled in on, on so that. So when what, it what, comes what, to the plot, you don't remember anything, but when it comes to what, the name of the game, then... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm done ragging on me right now. Let's let's move on and uh, um, what do, uh, do I need to do anything here? Do I need to get that guy somehow? Maybe you can do walk to the right. Walk to the right. That must be this tall. All right, so let's use this thing. Can't use it right now. Why not? Have you tried the use? 
There you go. Use the mm. elevator, not the button. Oh, the, that, oh, I see. Okay. The button was a red herring. Oh, mm -hmm. you needed to use it. All right, so we got someone to talk to. I don't want to. Let's talk to her. Who are you? She must be the instructor on duty. Sure enough. Are you in charge here? Yes, I'm an Olympic bungee jumper and I know everything there is to know about bungee jumping. Olympic bungee jumping? You ever go bungee well, jumping, she Daniel? Sure. No, have you? What do I do? The I principles have. are important to really? master. Get a safety uh -huh. harness from behind that little screen over there. Once that's you have on, a death it's wish important that you jump from the board towards the scary. pit of tar below. But I'm sure a great big hunk of fur like yourself would have no problem. Yeah, sounds easy. Looks dangerous. Right. In the meantime, I didn't listen to anything she said, so I don't know what our... Hey, that furry pig thing is still down there. That's the beauty of this tar. It's always at the right consistency and temperature. It could be days before you sink too low for us to find you. I'm convinced. Let's go, Flyboy. Okay. okay. Never mind. I can do that one hey, again. That's I'm convinced. Okay. What about this one? My nose is running. Whose isn't? <laughs> What? <laughs> Bye. So long, cutie. Oh. I bet you that was just them going, I don't know what to say here. Just just say my nose is running. All right, so we're going to go over here. We're going to bungee jump down. I can't, I don't, they, she told, what did she tell us? Try to use it. Wait, you need your bungee jumping safety suit. There's one hanging behind the screen. Nice. So, what do you think? It fits you just fine. All right, Ooh, let's stand go. Stand back, she may pounce. It's a danger I face every day. So, Max, what do you think? A regular 007. Are you sure? Clint, baby, would be nervous. But get moving. I'm beginning to think you're stalling. Clint. Baby. Who's stalling? I'm just waiting for my buddy to come here and check out this spectacular view. Let's go! What? I better pick up the tar first. Pick up the tar first? Oh, I gotta pick up the part, okay. I can't reach it. Why Maybe you have you something it? in your inventory that will help you reach it. God. Uh, do I have an... Oh, I can have this thing I've been trying to use over and over and over again. Please be the one. Well, you're out of time. So you should try it again. But I still... But it's all right. But before we bungee jump again, just think if this object helps you pick up liquids. Or Liquid. if it's just a part of something that would help I'm you. I'm just trying to get some tar, and then why didn't I just reach over the the pool and grab some tar that way? Why do I have to bungee jump to get because some liquid? Because it's too right high. Here? Okay, so anyway, you're on the right track. You can use this thing, but you can pick up liquids using this thing alone. So you might need to combine it with something else. Wait a minute, what's this one gonna do? This and this. Now I'm gonna do this. Wait, do I have this stuff? I Wait. missed it. Ah! No, open your inventory. 
I just did. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So I have to combine it first and then open the inventory? Is it already combined? After you combine it, it's combined. Okay, it's already combined. Okay, you gotcha. You need to go to the inventory and use it on the tar. Gotcha. Okay, fair enough. So now I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go here. And... <sighs> These games. These games. I did it. Click it. Is it? I am Oh, there we go. <laughs> well done, Paul. Well done. This I, I, this is the part of adventure games that drive me absolutely insane. And anybody who who likes this moon logicy stuff, I don't, I I don't get it. This is just insanity. So there, take that. I got a part of it too is I, you know, I'm jealous of people whose brains work better than mine. So do we need to I go down now? I don't use people except yeah, Max. We have the tar. I got the tar. I can go. Hey, you can't leave with that on. Oh, Put that back. There you go. My goodness. All right. I'm going to, my goal Daniel is to mm -hmm. solve the, the next, next puzzle, puzzle alone by myself. Yeah, let's let's do that. Well, <laughs> so hang on tight, everybody. Here we go. Um, except now I don't know what to do. Why did I want this tar in the first place? I'll so solve maybe the my, puzzle. my Rubik's cube in the meantime. No, 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 no. So maybe, maybe after the puzzle after this one. So tell me. Uh, I have tar now, so I guess I can leave. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can give me uh-huhs and uh-uhs. Um, all right, and then these dudes, there's really nothing to do there. I can look, maybe there's something to look at now. Okay, so I'm probably gonna, what about, I've done those, I haven't done this. Let's go over here. I also don't have to stay here. I can go to a different different place on the map. No place to go there. Okay, so do I have what I need to get the tooth? Oh, I do. Because it'll... It's no, you sticky don't. Stuff. I don't. Okay, so should probably go back to the car and come back here later. Okay. Yes? Agreed? Yeah, you, you need to do something in order to get the tooth. Now, do you remember something that... around here in this in this world that I'm in no. right now? No, 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 okay. it's in a different location. Do you remember okay. that when we were at the restaurant at the top of the biggest bowl of wine? Yeah, we were informed that they're getting their deliveries from some place around here, getting their fish deliveries from some place around here. Could it be here? Maybe. Is it fish related? Looks fish related to me. There's a whole bunch of fish here. We've been here before. Yeah, and we picked up the bucket of fish. But maybe, just maybe, there's something else to do over here. Now, we've seen that the first time we visited this location, a, he a helicopter came bubbles. and picked up yeah. the the net filled with fish over there. Right. So probably in order to get it's a to that restaurant, net. we'll need to grab pretend, the fish net somehow. Pretend like we're fish. We have to pretend like we're fish, so we can go into the fish net, and then the 
helicopter can take us with them. Or, or maybe there's something else in this location that will help you look as if <laughs> you're okay, fish. Okay, let's look, let's look around. Let's look around. Let's go keep. Let's see what else there is. I look, that looks like a fish. Can I talk to this guy again? I can't remember. Might as well talk to him. Here. To Woody Allen. There's going to be nothing left to say, right? Hey, Bob. Uh, don't sneak up on me like that. My therapist says that any small shock could send me over the edge. Right. Oh, there's more stuff to do. Here. What do you right. know about Bigfoots? My oh, we already know about... married a Bigfoot. He used to shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus? No, I try not to listen to country music. When I do, I usually have an uncontrollable desire to drink a lot of... You too? What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Dis, Minnesota. How sad. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I got. I have two potential... F we can get in this move. thing, maybe? All right. Okay. So I'm going to go over here. Get into it. All right. Can I use or... There we go. I can't pick that up. All right, don't yell at me. All right. Now what? Uh, can I walk? No, but currently the fish stands firmly on that pole over there. Yeah. So I need maybe, to get it maybe, off. Maybe it should... It should stop standing firmly on that pole over there. I'm gonna blow it up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow up the damn thing. Sanity. What? Ooh! I didn't realize I had another option to play this game. I kind of want to redeem myself, but... Oh, Lord, now I'm not tired of this drivel. Okay, can I... Grab it and blow it up. The the games, the mini games, are not actual inventory objects. I can't use these things together. No. Well, then why is it still in there? Because you can use it in order to play the mini game. No. All right. I guess I can use the wrench. Let's try the wrench. Tried that before. It's worked. It's been helpful. All right. Wow, well played. Thank you. <laughs> See, I did something. I did something, but it makes that sense. The That's trick. the thing. I do okay when they make some sense. All right. What did he say? That'll loosen it up. What about this mm -hmm. one over here? Uh, do I need uh, Max to get his own disguise, or are we both just going to get in there? You can both get into that fish, so... It's kind of wobbly in here. Okay. Now get your buddy into that fish. Where is he? Do I have you to have, grab him? You have him as an inventory item. So you can pick yeah. him up from the inventory. It's my little buddy. Oh, ready no, for action. I'm liking the piano. Uh... Oh, no, that's not it. All right. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's go bunk and let's go bunk and let's go bunk. And now let's get on in here. Hey, Max, come here. All that. Here Just to have him say, come here. Whoa. <laughs> One must admire the skill with which the wily uber trout stalks its prey. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. Holy trout. I'd always thought you were made of plaster. <laughs> oh, God. 
This is where you can get away with a lot of things in cartoons. Come on, let's go, Woody Allen. Boom. And, and the fisherman is dead. Oh no! He just drowned! Now what do we do, Sam? Yeah, we I'm killed him. What? What's that noise? We killed the fisherman. It sounds fisherman. like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. Dang, that was harsh. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I uh, played three different sat down three different times with my son we're we're getting near the end of limbo so i'll get those posted and those will be available daniel you can use those while i'm out of town to to add some some content awesome they're really fun it's a fun it's an interesting game it's interesting playing that game after playing inside because they took so much from that game and applied it to inside uh, and I think improved it in many ways, but it is a really. Have you ever played it? I'm sure you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inside Which or one? Limbo? Because I played both. Both. Which one did you like better? Limbo. Really? You like Limbo I better told than you Inside? I had a plan. And don't, because... don't forget, I played it first. Right. That's probably it. But if you were to go back to them both, do you think Limbo would have a more special place in your heart because you played it first, or you would? Think, oh yeah, it's, now that I've played inside, it's not as good as uh, inside. I I love the atmosphere and Limbo more, even though they're bo both dark and ominous. Mm -hmm. Feels like L Limbo is a bit more, is a bit darker. And no, it's definitely ominous. darker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way more uh, grisly deaths for that little boy. Um, there is a French right, artist that. Created a music video for one of his songs that's based on the uh, the same atmosphere as Limbo. Oh, Pretty really? Awesome music video, yeah. Oh, I'd like to see it. You have to send me a link. Uh, okay, so let's see. Can I go in here? Let's go in the door. Let's use the door. What? Let's use him. What's going on? So we're here, and there's. A loose thread at the bottom over there. Yeah. I really think we need that loose end, Sam. Well, I got my trusty this stuff, but maybe I do if the magnet's not going to work. The cup isn't going to work. It's still connected together. How do you disconnect something? Or do you need to keep it together? You, you can use someone's it? thief. Yeah. So let's take... Max's teeth. Oh, this is not teeth. This looks like teeth, but it's talking. So I can use... Max's teeth. Put that on here. I can't use these things together. I can just use Max? All right, let's just try Max. This is one of the hey, more Max, easier, I got another plan. Uh, one of the I I like you when easier you puzzles clueless. in this game. Shut up and climb over the rail. Because you're stuck in this location until you solve this puzzle, so you don't have a lot of options. Say that again. See, that wasn't so bad. What are you two doing out here? Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. I said this Galileo this puzzle is, is one of the easier ones we because you, you're stuck in that location hey, until you solve this puzzle Wait so we don't have a lot of options yeah. and the car just reappeared yeah what's the story there um, because the car was in the fish location in the, the fish museum all oh, right, they had to figure. I bet you that was a mistake. They're like, "Oh no, what do we do from here?" They just had to come up with something goofy. So I guess it's time to get back in the car. 
we got the twine. Let's check out our inventory here. So we got... It's more faux woolly mammoth hair than we'll ever need. Mm-hmm. We got... It's 91 yards of twine. 91 yards. 91 yards of twine. It's all because of George um, Washington. Okay, so those are the two new things. Let's skedaddle. And I guess we get in the cart. All right. Well, okay, so what else is new? We've been everywhere, but we haven't been to the tomato place yet, have we? Nope. Do we need to go somewhere new or do we need to go somewhere? Do we have what we need for the for We the have what tooth? we need for the tooth, but we can visit a new location, so you've got options. I want to get the tooth. Go get the tooth. Yeah, I'm doing it. The perspective here gets wonky because you see him go. He does walk on the other side and now, okay, that works. That works. Okay, so now I need to, I'm going to use some, here's what I'm going to do, Daniel. Watch this. Watch me work here. I'm going to use the twine on the tar. I can't use these things together. <laughs> well, now I'm, now I'm out. Um, okay, so I've got twine. I've got tar. I've got... Uh, oh, I've got the magnet. Um, can I use the magnet on this thing? Here, well, can I put that back? Put that back. Okay, there we go. Let me use Maybe the magnet it's on the top. powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. Will this work? I can't use these things together. Fair enough. All right, you're being honest. I appreciate it. Can I do... It's a powerful refrigerator magnet oh, right, that right, says right. World of Fish. I better take the cup off first. Boom. Okay. But I don't... Um, I already had those things, so I didn't need to go get... The tar and the twine. I can, can I use the twine on here? Uh, the reason why you can... I can't use these things together. ...attach the magnet to, to that device is because we needed that to get the mood ring. So we've already done that. So you haven't figured out anything. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate that. Good to know. Good to know, um... Not that I felt like I was getting anywhere, but knowing that I haven't figured out anything makes me much <laughs> more, much more secure with my. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, I've got tar. I think the tar would stick on the tooth and then get gummy, and then you could yank it out. That's my thinking there. Uh, the twine would be some like to throw the twine up around the tooth. Maybe I just do one thing at a time instead of combine it all. Let me see what I can do with the twine. Given that the, the game is very American, how would you pull out a tooth? That's a good idea, or how there's do nothing they for the twine to catch on. Pull out teeth in American movies. Twine to catch on. Uh, no, I'm going to try to... I'm trying not to listen to you because I'm, I'm going to try to make... This, the, the twine to catch on. So the twine has to catch on the tooth. But this is where I thought I could put the... Oh, well, how about this? How about I do this first? Do that. Do that. That work? I can't use these things together. Okay, 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 okay. I thought that I could... I can't move these together, right? It's a bunch of tar. I can't use these things together. Mm. 
How do you pull out the tooth in American movies? With a door, you put the thing around the the tooth, and then you slam a door. But I. So no tar. No tar, but I've got. I don't have. Oh, you guys must be yelling at me. I don't know. What? What? Now I'm. Uh, where's the door? And I can't attach it to his. How do I oh, I? oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay, I got it. I got it. I think I got it. I'm going to do this first, and I'm going to attach it to the car door. I go do that. I can't use these things together. Um. I gotta look what around. The, what, does, there... what does Sam say when he try to use the, uh, the rope on the Tino's tooth? I, I need something to attach. So do I need to use Max again? Maybe I have to use Max again. Maybe later. Okay, well, let's do that. How about I do... It's my little buddy. Ready for oh, action. Okay, okay. All right. I'm up here. But you do realize that the dino's mouth I is closed. I can't use these things together. The dino's mouth is closed, so can I use? Maybe there's something so over it, here that. Do I have things in my uh, in my that I already had that, like this thing? Like it seems to me like I could use this contraption to go. Put the magnet on the bottom of his thing and open, and bring it down. Is that? But you said we've used this. Already, Actually, that's so. a pretty amazing idea, but it doesn't work in this game. Okay. Well, thank you for the compliment, but um, I don't see. I can like. Do I have to combine some things to make? No, but you know the problem with attaching the rope to the tooth is the fact that. The mouth of the dinosaur isn't open, so you can't attach it to anything. So I have to open the mouth of the dinosaur. Yeah. Maybe there's something around here that will help you do that. Not you something guys. that you not something that you need to pick up. Just something next to the dino that would get it to open its mouth. This thing? Something next to the di these things? Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the speaker had the use verb highlighted when you placed it on it. Yeah. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, oh, so I was while the he's dinosaur. talking. As you can see, my tiny forearm. As soon as I go away. Push button to hear Rex speak. As soon as you go away, Rex immediately stops talking. So I need to get the rope first. Maybe later. But then... I can't use these things together. As soon as you walk away, Rex stops talking. Can I stop him in mid-sentence? Hi, my name is Rex. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I don't get it. I, I, I just... This this is the stuff. And it's me, I think. But that can't just be me. You, Anybody who's not never played this game before, please tell me I'm not alone and how absolutely... completely <laughs> lost I am in, in this... You want me right. to tell you, or you want me to solve this puzzle? You solved it a hundred million years ago, so you haven't. There's no solving it. You can tell me, which I don't think I want that yet. But I do want to complain. So because... first of all, do, do you see any way to get Dino's mouth open? Uh, to get his mouth open. Yeah. Did we do anything uh, that got? the dino to open its mouth did we yeah we did by getting him to talk his okay. mouth was opening yeah and the moment we walked away he stopped 
He stopped. Yes. Okay. He stopped. Mid yes. mid sentence. He stopped. But it, it went back to normal. So is there a way to hi, stop him? My name is Rex. The Maybe. Hi, my name is Rex. The Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period. It stops right away when I walk hi, away. I'm okay. Wally, the Wally... So it stops right away. Okay. All right, keep maybe, talking me through this because I don't have a sense. Maybe to... you should stop it at a different, different time. Maybe. What's what? I was trying to do that, so I'm going to start him talking. Hi, my name is yeah. Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. As you can see, talk for a my while. tiny forearms are quite useless. But I'm more Just than think of the moment you want him to stop tail. talking. My muscular legs. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. And walk Lizard. away During whenever the you want to. Period, I was king of the this dinosaur. is a completely unusable thingamabob. Hi, my name. I can't pick that up. No, really, I can't pick that up. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, this so, is a completely uh, unusable thingamabob. Try to walk away when his mouth is open. I'm doing, I'm doing it, Daniel. That's what I'm doing. So watch, Hi, I'm gonna see. My name is so it's Rex, open right the now. Thunder lizard. I'm, During the late Jurassic. Right there, it was wide open, and as soon as I walked away, it just went right back down. Hi. How did you do that? I walked away when his mouth was open. I t well, how could I miss it so many times? Even, even as a mis even as a. Maybe it was the the delay over Zoom. Hi, my name is Rex. No. Hi, my name is Rex. I know you the can Thunder do it again Lizard. in a second. I want to see the what it... period. So here we go. I'm gonna go. Hi, my. Yeah, there's every time I do it, I did nope. it in, in yeah, my mind. Yeah, but it's supposed it it's supposed to be Hi, wide open, like. You see when it's. Hi, my name is Rex. The... See when. Hi. My... Hi. <laughs> Hi. Dumbest, dumbest, dumbest puzzle ever. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. These are masochists. No, sadists. These are sadists that make these games. Now do I have to attach it to... I can't take it anywhere. Am I going to talking again? No, I'm going to use... Think. We finally got the tooth. The whole tooth. Nothing but. Nothing but. I'll stab you in the eye with that tooth. Um. Wow. 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 I say. Crazy insanity. Okay, we've got the tooth. Yeah, I got people on my side over here. People are people are agreeing with me. Thank you. I'm gonna okay. go to the store. I want a hamburger. Wait, there is a location we haven't visited yet. I wanted to go get a hamburger. Okay, go get a hamburger. No, forget it. All right, have I been here? I've been there. Yes. You have. I have. Oh, we did this thing. You, you, this I is a mini game. Yeah. Mini game. We've been to this rock. We've been to this rock. Yeah, we have. That's frog rock. 
We were there. We were. Uh, we were here. Indeed, we oh, were. Oh, we haven't done the two. We haven't done the tomato yet. Okay. <sighs> tomato. Vegetable Museum. What adventures wait us here? What logical puzzles? Look, it's Alfred Hitchcock. That's what I. That's what I like about. I will say. Uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to announce the game. I guess I am. It's just. It's not. It's just my brain doesn't doesn't do this. This I, I don't know how you guys do this stuff. And, um, that's why I like Thomas was alone. Those puzzles are are difficult, but they are logical. You have to. It, they make it. There's no there's no moon logic in those games. You have to figure it all out, and the things have to find their way into the places, and you've got to use things to get things to get someplace. And I like that a lot. So and you I'm like okay escape room that. puzzles because that's exactly what these are. You gotta get yourself in a contained space, and you have to solve a puzzle in order to move on to the next contained. Well, that's what this is, right? But it's not. It's no, not it's logical. not contained when you have tons of locations oh, to visit. Right. I guess I do like contained spaces. I guess that's a good point. I contained spaces and no inventory. I applaud this woman's monomania. Your likeness from Picked. Monomania. Do you have well, Picked? What the holy mother of Gord is this? <laughs> oh, isn't it obvious? I grow vegetables in the shapes of famous celebrities. For a small fee, I'll grow a vegetable from a photograph. Oh, that would have been my second guess. So Nelson Miguel writes, it has nothing to do with brains, Paul. It's it's go around trying stuff on stuff until it works, until a light goes on in your brain. It made us go to school thinking, what were we missing? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Zen Solpsa says, your frustration is completely justified. I like puzzles when the rules are clearly laid out, not hoping the dino's mouth stays open. Oh. Locations make In it adventure harder games from the 90s, rules aren't laid out, to say the least. Yeah. Not laid out. Go around trying stuff on stuff, like in real life. Exactly. All right. Well, can we uh, can we get our likeness? Let's well, get our likeness. Bye. I don't want to go yet. All right. Let's talk to her again. Justin Pizio says, yes, Phantasmagoria had that ridiculous right-click on the wallet. Ingenuity. Thanks, no, actually, there sorry. wasn't any right-click on the wallet. There was right-click on the portal at the end of the game, which wasn't that obvious. Well, what do you know Fantas about Bigfoots? You know, Phantasmagoria 2 had tons of moon logic. I've been what are you talking about? I've been experimenting with the idea for a while. There's just no such thing as a furry vegetable. Check Wait out a fridge. minute. I know what to do. Great, now that you know what to do, what do it. To that batch of Conroy heads over In the there? meantime... Well, I was trying a new growth hormone for some of my more oh. distinguished personalities when I realized oh. it was no good. Now it won't stop. They just keep growing like that. Big misshapen growths on top. Reminded me of Conroy Bumpy, so I ran a special. Okay. In the meantime, what's your excuse well, for the bye. fact that we have the final puzzle in Phantasmagora 2? That the first puzzle in Phantasmagoria 2, you need to use the rat to get the wallet. And mid-game, you need to combine the hammer and the screwdriver to open the metal box. When this is the first time you ever have the ability to combine items. I don't think she'd want that. I don't understand your point. You're making it seem like I think that Phantasmagoria 2 is a uh, a, a, a puzzle game that I enjoy uh, for its... Wait, you don't enjoy Phantasmagoria 2? The logic of some of the puzzles in Phantasmagoria 2 are as... as some, I mean, it's a, I love the game. I love this game. You guys are getting... In, don't get me wrong. I'm loving this game. It's the interior puzzles that sometime... Uh, I'm not. I don't necessarily like the things like to get to get to the venom in document. To, th these games where you have to like, there's no way you can figure it out unless you stumble upon it. 
or you just spent hours and hours and hours or getting or finally having to get someone to tell you or find a walkthrough. That to me uh, is not is fun. Is, is okay. So for example, you have a puzzle over here where you need to give her something and she has a huge sign next to her that says your likeness from picked. Do you have picked? If so, well, well, look, I'm talking to you, Daniel, and we're just chatting and we're chatting with the chat and I'm looking around and this is the very first time I've ever, ever played this game and I'm doing it while talking, while other people are watching. It's a different experience than playing a game by yourself and sort of randomly walking around and figuring stuff out. So you got to give me a little bit of, you got to give me a little bit of wiggle room here because it's a, no, I'm not the thing, playing the thing that I'm asking, normal way. The thing that I'm asking is, for example, when we had, when we played Lamplight City, remember? Remember Lamplight City? Sure. So, a stunning portrait of John Muir, famous naturalist. That game had no inventory. Was it better or do you feel like it hurt the gameplay? Well, that's, that's not my point. You're not even addressing my point. What do you make of this? Famed naturalist John Muir, huh? This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. Okay. All right. Go wander around. What detail? See the carrot leaning out of the book depository? Never mind that. What about the string beans behind the fence on the grassy knoll? I can't go that way. All right. Can I go over here? So there's really no place to go. So I'm going to go back here. She said she's going to take a while. Can I keep going this way? Doesn't look like I can go anywhere. I can't believe Harrison actually agreed to this. It is a stunning likeness, though. It's amazing what they can do with mushrooms. Remaindered Conroy Bumpus eggplants. I guess his 15 minutes of fame are about up. So can I... Talk to her again. So, how did you get started in this line of work? Oh, I'm a natural. My mother's an artist, my father's a farmer, and my great-grandfather was a village idiot. It's in my blood. I see. I grow more fascinated by the moment. Okay, so I've already talked about stuff. So I'm waiting for her to be finished mm -hmm. with well, the like. Um, so I guess I can leave. I, I probably should go leave and go some other place on the map and come back later. Mm hmm. Sounds reasonable. I think the thing is. With games like this, I think that we can, you know, it's like we can do this one or two ways, or we can go back and forth. But either I just focus in on the game, which I rarely do because I'm talking to you and I'm looking at the chat and I'm having fun and I'm not fully investing in the game. And then ask for hints because I'm not fully invested in the game. Or I take some time each stream where I forget about everything and I and with your your gentle guidance really try to puzzle things out um, I think I'm kind of living in the middle of it all I'm, I'm just kind of waffling back and forth and so, so I don't know what's the middle we, huh so what's the middle what's like the right middle now, ground just in this a, case I don't know or I think maybe we don't do a middle ground but maybe we s stick to something for a while like maybe we stick with me really trying to to commit to the game and not the not the stream. It's like, are we? Is it is it the stream we're committing to, or is it the game we're committing to? This is like a chicken and the egg kind of question here. Okay, I'll say th this. 
we're pretty close to the end of the game. So really? if you want to, yeah. So if you want to stream it on Wednesday as well, then you can take your time from now until the end of the stream to try to solve the next puzzle. Maybe. Wor worst case, uh, yeah. we'll continue on Wednesday. Well, okay. Let me let me try to puzzle some stuff out right now. Um. We visited all of the locations. I imagine we need to go back to numerous locations. Um, <laughs> I don't even remember what, what our goal is at this point. We're trying to find, I and mean, we found Conroy Bumpus. We we had the, we found the Sasquatch and and his girlfriend. Are we still trying to get the Sasquatch back to the? to the museum is that our ultimate goal here kind of so yeah. the, and the sasquatch the last time we saw him oh also we were we got the fish and we got that that brought us up to get the twine i don't quite know what the next turn what, what the next yeah, let's go listen to some music oh no that's bumpus phil um, is it worth it to re-check re out these locations, or are they kind of all, uh... No. Okay. But, maybe, the person who told you to come back later... Oh, might one... be back. Okay, good. All you have to do is leave and then come back. Okay, so once you leave, then that's enough, and then now you... Okay. Okay, so let's go check it out. All right, here we go. Can I talk to her? 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 Question. Let's find out Where's about Where's my thing. John Muir vegetable? Nice. Here you go, son. A zucchini squash that looks just like John Muir. Gee, thanks, ma'am. Now, didn't she want something that um, she could make something with? With Yeti hair, isn't there something we want to do to give her? No, she. That was just a. That was just yapping away. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so I've got this. Let's look at it. See what it tells us. It's a gourd that looks just like John Muir, the naturalist. Okay, so why do we need that? Do we know? I don't think so. It's a somewhat authentic dinosaur tooth. That's new. And we, so we've got Yeti hair, dinosaur tooth, John Muir vegetable. Those are the newest things. The, we haven't used the tar yet. We haven't used the pamphlets These are yet. pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit and Bungee Jumping National Park. And some place called oh. the Celebrity Vegetable Museum. Okay, so we did all that. That took us there. Okay, so... Gotta go somewhere. Anything else open up? Um, do I need to go to the store? Do I need to go? That's where we are. We got the John Muir. Oh, probably the museum. Where's the museum? Is this the museum? No, that's. That's Bumpusville. Bumpusville. Is the museum over? No, that's the circus. Ball of yarn. Is that the museum? I can't remember. Probably. Yeah, at the bottom of the biggest bowl of twine, you have the museum. Alright. Take your time. Alright, um, big ball of twine. Fish falling down. The dude's not, though, he is still there. This sign tells me more than I really want to know about this monstrosity. He's not my type. How much are they paying you anyway? I'm a volunteer, but they let me sleep here and I get all the twine I can eat. So how can I help you? All the twine I can eat. 
fish buckets. That's interesting. Isn't it a little environmentally unsound, dumping all those excess fish guts on the ground? Maybe. No, Who cares? Hey, good point. Dang. What? What would you do if someone cut off, say, 94 yards of the ball? We'd shoot them, skin them, and sell them as jerky treats. All right. All right. So this guy's not going to tell us anything. Sure you haven't seen Conroy Bumpus? I just don't know. Is there anything else you can tell us about Bruno? I can't think of a thing that'll take... Then forget it. I need my information right. in bite-sized packets. Fair enough. That'll be oh, all for anything? now. Uh, we have... Oh, can I give him the thing? Maybe I can give it to him. See if that... It's a thing. gourd that looks oh. just like John Muir. I... That... He's gonna say I no. don't think he'd want that. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is not the right place to be. I gotta get out of here. Um, so what do I need the gourd for? Are you talking about the eggplant? Yeah. Well, have you seen Raiders of the, Lo of the Lost Ark? Yeah, I sure have. Okay. So the next puzzle is a reference to Raiders of the Lost Ark. You need to uh, switch something with something uh -huh. else. Well, it feels like the closest Raiders to the Lost Ark reference is this volcano area. Um, is that where I need to go? You, you want me to tell you the location? Yeah, location. I don't, I don't Okay, so go to Bumpusville. There's something we haven't picked up there because it trips the alarm. Maybe we can pick it up now. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're going to go this way. What do we have here? Oh, what are you doing? Don't come come back. Okay, what do we got here? Do we have something that's gonna? Oh, it's gone. It's not doing its thing anymore. We got we turned it off. So, oops. Uh, let's see if there's anything that needs to be looked at. Something in here. I can't go that way. Go this way? Not really? Huh, okay. So, something in Bumpusville that I didn't. Oh, the wig, the wig. I gotta get the wig. Okay, maybe that's. God, your, your restraint, Daniel, is impressive. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I turned everything off. So probably it, I, the, the key turned all the stuff off, so I can go pick it up. I think the thing is, did you get, did you take uh -oh. notes? Oh, I should have known. Hey, that hurts. Knock it off. So do I need to go get the key and stay again? out? And it's already unlocked. That weight-sensitive alarm is sure giving you a problem, Sam. Oh, here we go. The weight-sensitive alarm. That helped. Weight-sensitive. Oh, now I get it. I just listened to you. I remember what you told me a few minutes ago. And what Max just told me, I think I know what to do. Let's go. Go! Oh. oh, come on. Okay. Walk on over. Let's take our little... It's a gourd that looks just like John Muir, the naturalist. 
Also looks a lot no, no, like. No. You, oh. you haven't picked it up from your inventory. There we go. I can't Come use on, these things please. together. Oh really? I can't use these things together. Okay, so Daniel tried to make it sound easy, but there's going to be some sort of connection here. So, do I use this thing again? It's a gourd that this looks just like John awful. Muir. The... I can't use these things together. <laughs> All right, well, uh, okay. So, something has to. I'm going to do this. I'm going to move this and take that. Is it the the ball of hair? Oh, maybe I put the ball of hair on the gourd. I can't use these things Dang. together. All right, let's see if I can just put the hair on there instead. I can't use these things together. Oh, that was a good idea. It's a great idea. Um. So, am I moving the whole thing? Could be the globe. Do I have to combine things together? It's the right idea, but it's an eggplant that's in the shape of John Muir. And maybe in that eggplant museum, there's another one shaped like the person we're trying to look like in order to solve this puzzle. So I got to go back to the, the farm? Mm-hmm. Then why did I take John Muir? Because why was you're... that even a... I can't pick that up. Get me out of here. I'm not trying to pick it up. Try to get it. Oh, wait. Actually, I was sure that, that Sam will tell you that it's a good idea, but maybe it needs to look like Conrad Bumpus, but he didn't. So I'm going to give you this. We didn't need to come here. We achieved nothing. But she gives me okay, this this will all make sense when I when I see how the problem is solved. I'm sure. And I'm sure mm -hmm. I'll go, oh no wonder I should I should have known that. So now I've got I've got are those the Conroy Bumpus things? That avocado is Governor Connolly. That's Connolly. Which ones are the Conroy Bumpus figures over by her? Go here. It's a whole heap of eggplants shaped like Conroy Bumpus' head. There you go. Now, why did I get John Muir then? It's going to come in. It's going to be very apparent later in the game. So the, the, John the, Muir thing. the why you need the John Muir eggplant is not apparent at the moment, but the okay. thing that's apparent for that will make you create that eggplant is the fact that there is a sign that asks you to give her a picture and she will create an eggplant based on that picture. Which we've done already. Yeah, we've done that. Okay. That's it. Go use All the right. eggplant. I don't get the John Muir part, but it's gonna it's gonna make sense later. So I'm okay. So the John Muir part is not something you need to figure out at the moment, but you you get the John Muir eggplant because that's the only inventory item that's a picture so there's a big sign that tells you give her a picture and she'll make an eggplant out of it so that's the obvious solution to that puzzle even though you don't know why you need the John Muir eggplant at the moment okay I, I, I'll go with it thank you Hem Henry Zimanoff who uh, used the super sticker a super sticker yeah have we? I don't know if we've had anybody do that before. 
I think we Thank have you, one or two in the past two and a half years. Uh, check that. Okay. Okay, so now you have an That's eggplant. Yeah, now I'm going to go in here. I got an eggplant that hey, looks like, what's his name? Check it out. Well, what happened? Did we get a... I heard my voice. What was that? Did you hear it? Yeah. It was a, hey, check it out. That was a, the, a Curtis thing. But maybe it came late to, for, with Henry's little... Uh, uh, Henry's donation. Or sticker. Whatever the hell. Like half an hour late. I know. It's an eggplant that looks somewhat like Conroy Bumpus. I wonder if I have to combine Conroy Bumpus one with... Come on, there we go. Here we go. We got a little indie moment. Look at that special animation that Ensign Chu did just yeah. for the CD version of the go. game. Here we go. Oh my, here it is. Da -da -da. Blink. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Hey, that hurts. Knock it off. Uh, that's why we need Conroy. And stay out. Head. No, I'm not staying out. We're going back in. What do you have to say, Max? What's that? We got it. Yeah. We got it. It was worth being kicked out of the place. Okay, so now we have Conroy's wig. And I have no idea where we're supposed to go next. Okay. Yeah, you have to write notes. Like, oh, don't forget that we need to. We haven't been to the um, alligator place in a while. Should we go there? No, but there is something you forgot at the carnival. Okay, let's go to the carnival. I knew I forgot something. All right. Where in the carnival did I forget it? In Trixie's trailer. Trixie's trailer. Are we going this way? No, it's to the right. To the right. Um, 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 um. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Papa Joe Robertson. I never realized the U.S. was so small. Yeah, it's a small little. All right, so let's check it out. Hey, we've been in here before? Oh, yeah, we were. Yeah. That's okay, where we took the, the gator calendar from. Or there's... Yeah. yeah. Let's check it out. It's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. There's nothing else in here. Okay, okay. do you have it? Wait, do you... Take a look at your inventory. All right. Oh, yeah, you, you have wig. it. No, you have it. Okay. Have what? Oh, never mind. You like the, the okay. blue costume at, at the right, at the top right. Yeah. Oh, okay. so I can. I'm gonna make my. I'm gonna make myself look like Conroy Bumpus. I can put on the outfit and put on the wig, and or I can put it on Max, and he'll look like Conroy Bumpus, and then we'll be able to get into some secret spot and solve all the, the so crimes. The, current, the only location at the moment that you can access is the Bigfoot party because you don't look like a Bigfoot. Oh, but I can. I'm going to go. Can I? Should I go to the Bigfoot party now? And then... This is a completely Big... unusable thingamabob. But do you have a Bigfoot costume? Well, I've got a bunch of Bigfoot. I got the makings. I mean, this is a lot of Bigfoot hair. Okay. And... Okay, where will you place the hair? Oh, so maybe I need to go into the Bigfoot Museum here and see if I can grab a costume and get out of here. Maybe we have enough items in our inventory to create a costume. Okay, well, that's what I was thinking. All right, so... Um, okay, so we've got... Uh, we've got this... We've got a mask. We've got that looks kind of big footy. And then we got the the um the outfit. Mm-hmm. So I would 
Bye. It's more I full guess. woolly mammoth hair than will ever. I do that. Whoop. I can't use these things together. It might be nice to have a hairy Stiltwalker's costume, but I've got nothing to keep the hair stuck to the suit. Oh, ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. There's okay. That. And now I'm going to take. It's a bunch of tar with hair in it. Oh. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on top of here. I can't use these things together. Oh, huh, really? Uh. All right, how about you? Great, now we've got a Stiltwalker's costume covered with tar and full woolly mammoth hair. Well played. Now, do I also need to put this thing on there? No. But maybe... Like... Maybe you need hair? some other type of hair on. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I've attached Conroy Bumpus toupee to the Stiltwalker's costume. Alright. Now you've got do a I costume. Need anything else? All right, got me a costume. All right. It's a Stiltwalker's costume covered with tar, faux woolly. All right, I don't know why, but that one didn't bother me as much. Okay, so let's go to the place that we... I can't use these things together. ...need to look like a Bigfoot to get into. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's after 2 o'clock. All my moaning and complaining, the time went by very fast. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I normally would, but I got stuff to do. So get us to the location where we need to look like a Bigfoot in, and then we'll call it today. Do you have? Uh, do you happen to have any um, Wheel of Curtis? No. Is this how I get out of here? No, because we need to... I need to download the, the names of the people who donated last week, and that will take a while. So we're going to so do, do it on, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. How do I get out of here? Go over here. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Whoa, what just happened? Okay. Okay, so the... Okay. It says, yeah. Close enough for jazz. Let's go. Okay, so we'll save we'll here. All right. So how far do we have? I can get through this. Uh, I can get through this on, on Wednesday? Yeah, you can get through this on your own. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. I mean, this, it's, you know, this is the first time in a while that we just started a game. And we played it more than once every week. And now we're going to get through it. And hopefully, will we get through it uh, in time? Will there be extra time so we can start one or two of these other games that people are talking about and just kind of sample some stuff? Sample some stuff. Well, if we if you don't use any hints or minor hints, then you'll get through this on your own and fill up the entire two-hour live stream. <laughs> if you use well, I'll it. probably ask for some hints. I don't mind getting a few hints. Like, I don't mind getting like which location should I be next. To me, that's that's fine, uh, and I will try to. Uh, but I will. Uh, I think it will be fun. Let's think about this. I think it will be. Will it be fun to have me spend the whole? last on Wednesday just trying to play the game myself without any hints from you Ozzy Astaroth tip $10 Paul your frustration is understandable when we play <laughs> these games we aren't being watched by tons of people and we have lots of time to figure things out colon dash closing parenthesis hey thank you so much Ozzy I appreciate colon dash. that yes I agree with your sentiment which is my sentiment that uh uh, I, it's, it's just hard because you're just, you're, you're, you're distracted. You're, there's a whole bunch of things going on and I'm really enjoying, I like the artwork. I like the voices. I like looking around. I'm not always listening to the dialogue. 
because when there's dialogue, I start looking at the chat and then I start talking to people. And so I'm just not taking all of the information in. And then I use Daniel to kind of remind me what I just missed. And I think that works for the most part, but I think it would also be fun to do, you know, to, to, uh, uh, you know, spe be specific, like, you know, every once in a while, just focus on what can I do on my own? You know, really you just know, see what let's I can place, do. Let's place a timer on Wednesday yeah. on screen. And every time you try to solve a puzzle, you'll have, I know, how much time do you want? Five minutes, 10 minutes yeah. in which you'll play on your own. And once, once we reach the end of the, that period of time, then if you're still stuck, I'm going to give you a hint. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do the first 30 minutes where it's just me wandering around and figuring stuff out. And then, mm -hmm. and then once I get to the 30 minutes, then we do these five minute intervals so that we can kind of zip through it a little bit better. But yeah, let's do 30 okay. minutes. And then you, once that timer goes off, you'll now put a five minute timer on. And if I don't get somewhere or after the 30 minutes, you give me a hint if I need it or a couple hints if I need and it. And then I'll give you another 30 minutes. No, no, <laughs> we'll be like five at a time. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I mean, this is, I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying, it's weird. You guys, I think you're going to understand what I'm about to say is that it's supremely frustrating. And I am allowing myself to get supremely frustrated, but I'm enjoying it. So I, it seems like frustration does not equal enjoyment, but as frustrated as I am, I'm really enjoying playing this game. And so I hope that you see the diff that yeah, they're not. That's exactly exclusive. how we felt. Being frustrated was part of the gameplay at the time. Oh, it was just, one of the main know, features. And, and you get, yeah. And part of it is to allow yourself to curse at the game and call it stupid because you're not able to do this thing yet, you know? So I'm going to, uh, I, I reserve the right to continue to yell at these games that, uh, aren't easy but in the meantime thank you guys it's fun to hang out with you thanks for joining us um we'll be back on wednesday finishing this game up and maybe doing a couple of a couple of quick samples of other games uh to put in so i can get like a little i think it would be great every once in a while to do like 45 minutes of just playing five minutes or 10 minutes of each game so that i'm like ooh this one for sure or i don't know about this one and and then we can start creating more of a list that way okay. of course it means buying and getting the games and and uh all that so that could be costly but anyways uh daniel thank you for your patience and your guidance and uh when does your next interview drop you just had one on sunday right yeah so next uh, next Sunday is my interview with Ken Macklin, who created the cover art for Maniac Mansion. Nice. Excellent. All right. Well, fun, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you on Wednesday. Dinosaur tooth. Is the mouth open? Is it closed? Is it open? Is it closed?